Uh, let's uh, get a look at your weather forecast. Astrid has that now. That, that pylon didn't do too well today, Astrid. <laughs> I, you know what, I'm really glad I was not invited to do that because so many times my husband has said I should be on Canada's worst driver. You'd have to take those heels off to drive. Oh, to but then I wouldn't be tall enough for the <laughs> forecast. <laughs> and fortunately, I'm wearing heels so I can show you what's on the way. Uh, you're going to need rubber boots over the next couple of days because we're looking at a good bit of rain. Your skycast for tonight through the Victoria area got a good bit of shower activity forecast for tonight. Unsettled conditions, really lows around five this evening up to about nine in some areas 10 degrees tomorrow by tomorrow afternoon downtown Victoria expecting to see some breaks in the clouds that's what we can look forward to our record was set in 2004 at 20.8 degrees now here's a look at the temperatures right now with your live school net weather sensors at Cedar Hill Middle School it's seven degrees this hour we've seen seven and a half millimeters of rain since midnight and over to shoreline a little more rain since midnight uh, seven and a half degrees there right now so we are watching another system as it pushes towards BC. These systems are stacked sort of one after the other right the way through the Pacific and they're going to keep coming. Uh, this one isn't bringing the strong winds like we saw last night, but we're certainly going to see a bit more rain and cool, unstable, unsettled air as it passes over. So for tonight, expect some showers off and on and right the way through to tomorrow morning. We start to see some clearing in some parts of the island, but really an off and on sort of day. Some of that rain that's coming tomorrow Tomorrow may be a flurry first thing in the morning. Um, Saturday morning looking to be a bit brighter for us, at least around the North Island, but the rain creeps up again Saturday afternoon for much of the South Island. So for tonight, temperatures down to two degrees, a chance of a thunder shower around Port Hardy for the early hours of this evening. Windy also along the uh, waterfront there. Chance of some flurries or showers as temperatures get down to one degree tonight along the east coast of the island. If you're in the Port Alberni area, you too have a risk of a thunder shower, and that continues to the Tofino area. Windy on the waterfront for many areas tonight, so around Nanaimo as well, you'll notice those gusts, although not at a warning level. Greater Victoria, lows to around 5 degrees. Periods of rain and showers overnight tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to see those showers and periods of rain through most of the morning, and stronger winds at the waterfront as well, so gusts to about 30 kilometers per hour, and uh, highs to 9 degrees later in the afternoon is when we get to see some of that clearing. For the Cowichan Valley, a similar sort of pattern for you. Highs up to 10 degrees through Duncan and over to Salt Spring Island. Nine up near Crofton and Chimanus. If you're in the Nanaimo area, you may wake up to a flurry, but that should change to rain through the afternoon hours. And we'll see some clearing hopefully later in the day at 10 degrees. Over to the west coast, a pretty wet day for you. Showers and windy conditions through much of the morning. Port Alberni, you're looking at overcast conditions and a good chance of showers throughout the day. For the Mount Washington area, they've seen a lot of snow in the last 24 hours, about 28 centimeters overnight and more flurries in the forecast tomorrow. 10 degrees through Courtney Comox and Campbell River and up to the north end of the island. Uh, you're going to see some showers, then mainly overcast conditions later in the afternoon. So some of that rain is going to uh, pass and you'll get drier conditions later in the day. Vancouver's looking at 9 degrees. Powell River much at the same. Showers on the way. And here's what you need to know for the next seven days. Greater Victoria, well, we're going to see a little bit of a break tomorrow, late tomorrow afternoon, but it's going to be a pretty wet and windy weekend, in fact, on Sunday. For the Mid-Island, we're looking at plenty of rain on the way for the weekend as well. A bit of a cooler Saturday, and then highs up to 12 degrees on Tuesday. And finally, around the North Island, you're going to see some sunshine on Saturday. That'll be a nice change for you. And then uh, we get into a wet period, and the sunshine returns again next Thursday. Finally tonight, here is your weather watcher. Thank you so much to Natalie, 10-year-old Natalie, who sent in this a picture, and the title is called one dark and stormy night. And didn't we have one of those that certainly was made better by the colorful umbrellas in your picture? So we'd invite you to be a weather watcher, ctvvancouverisland.ca, if you'd like to send us your kids' art or if you have a great photo of what's going on with Mother Nature in your neck of the woods, we'd love to see it. Hudson? All right, Astrid, thank you. You're welcome.